what we're doing today. Hey guys, today we're going moto camping. The last moto camping video you saw, we were in a tent. If you saw this video right here, um, I had so much fun recording that video and I really enjoyed the things that I brought, but I wanted to do it a little bit differently this time. One of the, my most popular questions I got on that video was, why don't you camp in a hammock? I like the tent because it's nice to have your own space. Today, I'm bringing my hammock. So this is it. This is everything we're bringing with us, minus the cooler. I have the cooler inside, bringing food. This is my new Nelson rig sissy bar bag. As always, links to everything here, including this, will be down in the description. So right here, I'm gonna kind of list out everything I have for you guys. Don't mind my glove tan line. It's summertime and I ride daily, so wear sunblock. So right here, we have my Lawson hammock. This is a little blanket I put under the hammock. This is my cooking set with my little butane stove. I have a little hatchet here for chopping wood. This is going to be my rain fly that goes over my hammock. Oh, I should say, the hammock actually comes with its own rain fly. It's really cool, but I wanna have uh, like a little porch area, I guess. So I have a tarp here for the rain fly, another tarp just in case that one's not big enough because I overcompensate, some paracord, my mattress, my tree hugger straps, my pillow, a lantern, bug spray, sleeping bag, a book, my chair, my fan, clothes, helmet, obviously, party lights, sandals, lighter, hot dog skewer, more paracord, and a little saw. So yeah, the one thing that I'm going to do a little differently in this video, if you keep watching, you will see I'm going to be A, camping in a hammock, and B, we're going to be cooking some camp food today. So let's go ahead and pack up and head right over to the campground. <laughs> well, we're on our way to the campground right now, and in true fashion, Five seconds into my trip, uh, it started raining. <laughs> I didn't bring my rain gear just because I was like, screw it. Uh, I hate rain gear, you guys. It does its job on like the long, long trips, but for stuff like this, I'll just uh, I'll just dry off some somehow. Wow, did I dodge that bullet? Whew. That was just right here. I would have been riding right into it. Ominous. It really doesn't look like it's supposed to be raining right now, but it is definitely raining. Oh, this is so frustrating. The only reason I'm wet right now is because the road is absolutely soaked. I have so much water in my boot. Sucks. It's literally just splashing up off of the wheel into my pants. Damn it. Well, the sun came out for a hot second again, so trying to dry off a little bit. Definitely not gonna be fully dry by the time we get to the campground, but it's better than nothing. It is soaking wet, man. This place got it hard. So they did say that they are out of firewood. Obviously, it was just a really beautiful, fun weekend and everyone was out here camping, so they sold out of firewood. So I am going to have to venture out somewhere and get my own firewood. Is that my sight? Uh, crap. I think I just passed my sight. Well, I guess we're gonna get a little extra tour of the campground. Ironically, I think this spits me back out right into my sight. Dude, these are nice. Heck yeah. Okay, where was my sight? I think it's this way. I'm already lost. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> and we're home. Look at how beautiful this site is, you guys. The steam rolling off the picnic table. Hey, at least it's in the sun. Might be dry. This is my favorite site here because as you can see, it's like all wooded. And there's no, like, there's people over there, but they're, like, back there. So I have this entire spot to myself. And then there's people over there. But I don't know that there will be anybody. This is perfect. Let's set up camp.
Well, we got the hammock all set up. Now it's time to put up the rain fly and then start stuffing the inside with sleeping materials. <laughs> okay, I literally could not film and record at the same time. Well, I could not record and set up at the same time. So I went and got my helmet back on. So I blew up my little thingy majig and I shoved this inside of my sleeping bag. So it just helps create a little bit of a barrier between me and the bugs. There we go. And now it's time for my pillow. How am I gonna do this with a helmet on? Just like that. Pillow. Finally. Hammock. Semi-complete, semi-waterproof. I'm gonna check the radar again before nightfall and if it's actually gonna rain, I'll probably put the rain fly that goes over the actual hammock on. Jeez Louise, I've spent so much time setting the stupid thing up. I haven't even had time to relax and enjoy my campground. I brought a book, I brought food. I'm ready to chill. But the downside is I have to go buy firewood. Oh, so I have to leave. I literally have to get back on the bike and leave to go buy firewood. So we should probably go do that now. You guys, these GoPros, they have more issues than your ex-girlfriend, I swear. Um, I was trying to record while I was riding, but it wouldn't turn on. So, I just got back to camp. They typically sell firewood here, and I don't want to hear it from you guys in the comments. Oh, you gotta buy your own firewood, you're camping, blah, blah, blah. Bro, everything is soaking wet. We just got a crazy downpour here. So, why do I want to chop up wet wood and then try to burn? No, just, I had to go buy firewood. And they come in these giant plastic bags, like, that kind of sucks, but at least it's dry, so this is how I haul my firewood. Fire's picking up a little bit. Got my pants off. Ready to chill, drink a beer, and relax. And I suppose it's time to start letting my dinner get to some room temperature. So I have chopped up zucchinis and mushrooms sauteed in olive oil and then this bad boy is a ribeye sauteed in olive oil and Worcestershire sauce oh can you see me so I'm gonna let these kind of get to room temperature a little bit before we start cooking it's gonna be a damn good dinner hopefully And back here we got fire doing well. Little camp chair. I had to add to my clothesline, so I have my jeans and my socks hanging up now. And then my hammock. So when it gets a little bit later on, I'm gonna flip this over and then it'll create like a teepee effect. I do not think it's going to rain the rest of tonight, but you never know. So this is my Lawson hammock. As you can see, it has these extender poles here and it makes it really wide. I don't know if you can tell how wide this thing is, but I'll show you once I get inside of it. So I have my own tree hugger straps carabiners. These come with the hammock and then these little aluminum poles that loop through and kind of give you a lot of space on the inside. It's really humid out, but it's so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my little lights on just to kind of set the mood. <laughs> do you know many people who camp like I camp? First of all, do you know many people that go camping by themselves and bring things like lights and cameras? You know, they have to pay for their own firewood? I don't know. I'm having a good time. I do wish my friends were here, but as I mentioned earlier, this is a, a Sunday, actually. I'm camping on a Sunday night because this campground is nearly impossible to book on a weekend. And I didn't want to camp in like a really crappy spot. I didn't want to camp in a full campground. So I just kind of booked on a Sunday. I figure I'll wake up, make some breakfast, pack up and go back home, go to work. 
Alright, well, it's starting to get a little late and I need to get my food ready to start cooking. This is still pretty cold, but I do need to start seasoning it. So I have my little cook set here. Oh, this fit. Look at how cute! So for my ingredients that I brought, I have a ribeye steak, chopped portobellas, and zucchini. And then I also have some seasoning, salt and pepper, um, steak seasoning. Typically don't need it, but it was a nice little compact thing. And then look at what I have for tomorrow morning. I bought a mini French press so that we can have fresh French pressed coffee. Very excited about that. So I have a lot of stuff. And then my sissy bar bag and my bike. Hey baby. Camping's fun. <laughs> It's starting to sprinkle just like the tiniest bit, but this has been the, I think this has been like my best camping experience ever. Other than like an event, like Babes Ride Out and stuff, Grits and Glory was so fun having everyone there and partying, but like just being alone and cooking and listening to the trees, like I'm having a great time. <laughs> so this is my very first time ever cooking a ribeye or a steak in general. Honestly, anything other than burgers and hot dogs and brats. This is my first time cooking over an open fire. Oh my god. I think that was the best bite of steak I've ever had. I might just make this like the thumbnail. <laughs> this is so good. Holy hell. Well, I forgot I totally wanted to give you guys a tour of my hammock. And I have my fan on right now. Ooh. Lens is dirty. Anyway, this is my lost in hammock. Um, you can get a better perspective if I point you down towards my feet. So, as you can see, it's big. I mean, like, I can totally sleep on my side if I want to. <sighs> That being said, this has been an absolutely amazing evening. The weather's been immaculate, the food was delicious, the bugs weren't bad, and I'm ready for bed. I'll see you guys in the morning.
eat my breakfast, clean up, start packing, and then head home. Thank you guys for coming along with me again on this solo camping experience. This was a really nice time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Jess and I make motorcycle related content of all types. Hopefully you stick around, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you get notified when I post new videos because honestly, who knows what I'm gonna record about. I don't even know. It's gonna be a beautiful ride home. So I'm gonna jam out some music and chill. So thank you guys once again. Until the next time, you be good, and I'll see you later.